Okay, so in today's video, we are going to talk about impact and in particular, should we say an above perspective of impact. Now I've got some upcoming videos on this subject area because I think it's a really important area that amateurs spend more time practicing is learning how to improve your impact. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about the sequence of what I tend to see with amateur golfers. And I'm gonna talk about the sequence of exactly what it is that you should be doing. And then I'm gonna finish off this video with a nice little drill as well. So it's something that you can take towards the driving range. Now, the first thing that we're gonna try and understand is the head position. And if you like, the perspective of looking at the golf ball. Now, most amateur golfers, they're differing backswing positions, but the biggest problem that I tend to see with students that reach out for help, either through coming through that door there or reaching out for help online, is in the start of the downswing, they don't pivot particularly well. Okay, so what they do is the most common sort of tendency is golfers tend to try and trigger rotation and they end up firing the trail hip forward. So, and this is a really common problem. This is explains, you know, pretty much every sort of golfer in terms of the difficulty, whether it's contact or swing plan, whatever. So what happens when I move my trail hip like this? Can you see the way that it shoves my trail shoulder forward? It moves my hands out, but can you see my head as well? It moves this way. So my head ends up being in a position where it's almost very vertical. So it's almost like from this position I'm focusing, I can look very much on the top of the golf ball. And then obviously with this type of motion as well, it triggers a casting effect to get the club to the back of the golf ball. So it causes a multitude of problems. And what happens is it doesn't matter how hard you try. It doesn't matter how many videos you watch and how many little trips and ticks you try because you're always gonna, if you have your start of the downswing like this, you're always gonna have the same difficulty when it comes to getting the same sort of results of a poor impact position. So what the pros do, the pros do it very differently. What they do is they shift. So the pelvis moves more towards the lead side. So it's not this way. Pelvis shifts more towards the lead side. So I'd say this is kind of turning the pelvis into the leg on that lead side like so. And when you do this, you turn the pelvis into the lead leg like so. What also happens is if you concentrate on keeping your head focused on the back of the golf ball, it promotes more of a tilt. So you go back to our earlier amateur example, which is more this way, compared to now more our pro. Now see the way the spine is more tilted. So my trail shoulder drops down because my pelvis moves more towards this lead side. And all of a sudden this is changing my head position. So now my perspective of what impact looks completely different. So no more do I kind of look like I'm just seeing everything in this area here. But when I start to move more this way, it's almost like my perspective and my head position changes. It's almost like I can see much more of this area out this way. Now, why is that so theoretically simple and why is that so theoretically difficult? Well, this is the reason why, and if you guys are interested, this is a limited offer. So I've recently created a membership and with inside the membership, you get one swing analysis per month and you also gain access to a video library. And the video library at the moment is hosted to my five fundamentals. But what I'm also gonna be launching at the beginning part next week is a 12 step plan for perfect impact. Now for 10 pounds, you gain access to all those videos and you get a swing review per month. But like I say, because that is me giving that advice, that is gonna be limited. So check out the website if you're interested in joining that. But the reason why I see so many golfers struggle with impact is that they might start to move their body better. And this is what I do with a lot of online students, but you have to train your hands as well, you see, because let me go back to my, my golfer who moves like this. Can you see the way the hands go out? Okay, like so, that's, that's what has to happen. You can't move this way and get your hands coming in because you won't hit the ball. The angles aren't there. Now, all of a sudden, just because you start to learn to shift more this way and keep your head more back, you're still gonna have this casting effect here. And that's why you need to get those hands forward, like so, to be able to control the contact. So, hopefully so far you're understanding that if you're somebody whose head perspective is this way, you should try and get the feeling of moving more towards the lead side. It's almost going to feel more slidey to you and you should start to kind of get a different perspective of how that's looking. How do you practice it? Well, for me, it's about learning to control your low point, which is again a big thing on this step-by-step -step plan. So 
Controlling your low point basically means consistently striking the same point each and every time. And the question would be, how do you control your low point? For most amateurs, I would say they try and control their low point more with their upper body. So they do this, yeah, okay, to try and control the low point. We don't want to do that. The way I want you to try and learn how to control your low point is not with your upper body, it's actually with your hands. So you see that my head can stay back, but I can still control that low point. Okay, so the simple drill, okay, is a progressive ball position drill. And this basically means that when you get set up without a ball, but what you want to be doing is you want to concentrate on keeping your head nice and still. And then I want you to just strike the ground in the center of your stance. And once you can do that, try and move the club further forward and move it further forward, like so. And then when you're doing this, see the way I'm keeping my head back. And what this is doing is this is just teaching your hands to work on a narrowing path instead of a pathway like this. Because I talk about a progressive ball position on the channel before, but when people send videos to me, they're doing it like this, not like this. So as a golfer, you need to understand that maintaining a tilt, which is this angle here, is vital. Because as you maintain a tilt, that club can whip through like so. If you're too vertical, the club would plow into the ground, so it causes this casting effect. So a great impact should all be about this tilt and this change in head position. But when you start to work on that, just be slightly aware that you need to be thinking about what your hands are doing equally, because otherwise you can't control the low point. So do the drill. If you're interested, check out the website. See you guys again really soon.